Hey everybody, welcome back to Fox 5 News Live in Las Vegas, 744. Okay, so in the movie, The Backup Plan, you know, of course, it's played by J-Lo. She's the woman who is determined to become a mom, so she commits to fertility treatments, specifically artificial insemination because she's older and she feels like time is running out. Well, that seems to be the trend these days, and here to talk about women and fertility is Dr. Bruce Shapiro with the Fertility Center in Summerlin. Dr. Shapiro, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. Okay, why are women having <clears throat> babies at an older age now? Well, in our society, as you know, women have now had the ability to have careers. Yeah. And they want to advance their careers. So many women have put it off for careers. Yeah. Some women just haven't found Mr. Right. So they wait and wait, and then finally age catches up with them, and then yeah. they start having problems just because of age. Yeah, and, and you know what, Dr. Shapiro, I'm just going to put it out there. I had my son when I was 36, and let me tell you, that thing about 40 being the new 30, that's a lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have to have all these special tests, and they want to make sure that you're okay. They kind of treat you like you're in the geriatric unit. But I mean, it's all, you know, they're trying to be really nice. But do you agree with that 40 is the new 30, especially when it comes to having kids? Actually, unfortunately, it's not true. Yeah. Uh, 40 is not. <laughs> Each other. And the problem is, is that women, as they get older, just the natural part of the aging process yeah. results in decreased numbers of eggs mm -hmm. and a decrease in the quality of the eggs. So it gets harder and harder to get pregnant as you get older and older. Yeah. Now, what can you do to help? What is the process when a woman comes to you? Well, when a woman comes to me, what we do is we take a very thorough history. We want to find out what's happened to the woman in the yeah. past. We want to find out if there are any predisposing factors to infertility. And then we do a very thorough evaluation to find out what's working and what isn't working. Yeah. And then what we do is we fix what isn't working and go on to let them conceive. Yes. Yeah. Now, tell me about the cost, because I've heard of women, I've had friends who've uh, gone through this process, and the numbers are astronomical, but I guess when you're trying to bring life into the world, a lot of people just don't even care about that. Well, it really depends on the woman. Yeah. I mean, some women come to us, and it's just a matter of timing. We just help them time when they should have relations so they can get pregnant. Yeah. And that's very cost effective. Yeah. Um, others need a very mild uh, medication to have them ovulate on time. Yeah. And again, that's not very expensive. But as we get more and more sophisticated, some women need a lot of help. Yeah. And we have a whole team that helps women get pregnant. So we have people that are specialized in different aspects yeah. of the reproductive system. And as a team, we put together a whole program to make it more likely that women are going to be able to get pregnant. We can virtually treat any problem that women come to us with. Mm. There's a way to treat them and get yeah. them pregnant. Okay. Let me ask you this, and, and I'm asking because I've talked to a lot of women who have gone through the process, like I said, and I'm wondering how much does race play a part in this? Because my understanding is that for women of color, as you get older, your chances of all of the like gestational diabetes and other diseases, some I hadn't even heard of, they become a huge factor in whether or not a woman can get pregnant and whether or not she has multiples. Well, it's, it's a factor only in as much as women in different groups have different medical problems. Yeah. And some women have a weight problem in some uh, subgroups. Yeah. Uh, some women tend to smoke in other subgroups. Mm -hmm. Some women tend to drink more in other groups. Yeah. And all of these things can predispose women to having a particular problem with fertility. Gotcha. Okay, Dr. Shapiro, thank you so much. A pleasure seeing you again. We appreciate it. Very nice that, to see Yeah, you. he doesn't agree that 40-30 thing. All right, the Fertility <laughs> Center of Las Vegas, right there in Summerlin, 8851 West Sahara Avenue, and in Henderson, 2769 Sunridge Heights Park. Way. All right, 748 right now. Jay, it's back to you. All right, guys, thank you.